Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. It's Tuesday the 17th of October and I'm Nigel Croft. In this video we'll look at two UK stocks and two US stocks. In the UK we'll take a look back at Sirius Minerals uh, which has got the code SXX and which is actually starting to look quite interesting again and we'll then look at National Grid NG spot uh, which is looking uh, bearish uh, we'll then move to the states and we'll look at KMG chemicals uh, which is having a secondary at the moment this week um, looking okay the charts and then we'll look at Hewlett Packard Enterprise HPE which is also looking interesting let's look at those charts <music> So starting with Sirius, and you can see that we have been in a downtrend, uh, quite a severe downtrend, uh, which started in June. Uh, we did find support on the 50-week moving average, um, even though that was moving down, it did give some support. And actually now it's starting to sideline, moving sideways, which is good. Uh, we moved, we bounced off it three weeks ago. And you can see that today we have actually moved up to the uh, 20 week or yesterday, uh, which is downtrending. So we're likely to see a pincer formation between the 20 and the 50 week moving averages. But the downtrend has been broken and that's critical for serious minerals. On the momentum front, you can see that the RSI seems to be breaking its downtrend and actually it has moved marginally back above 50, 50.2. Although the MACD are still tracking down, although the differential between the short and the long is now quite small. On the daily picture, um, you can see that yesterday's move brokers through the downtrend in 50 day moving average and came off a base that was built around the 20 day which was good obviously some disappointment that today's candles are red candle uh, and that we are marginally down but i would say provided we hold above the 50 day moving average 26.49 this looks okay you can see that the momentum has increased uh, we've got 56.58 on the RSI and we've also got a buy signal being signalled by the MACD as the short term moves above the long term, although they are just marginally below zero. But um, I think after to with tomorrow, the short term will move above zero. And looking at the four hour um, today's trade is an engulfing candle, so be aware of that. But we are above the 20 and the 50, which did create a, a golden cross um, on the 13th. They will give support. Um, we have moved back below the 200 uh, with today's move. So it would be good if we can get back above that 200, which is still down trending. And that's at 27 spot 46. RSI obviously spiked into very high ground, perhaps being overbought as it, it went up to um, the 80s. It's drifted off now 60.61, but the MACD is still positive short term, above long term and above zero. OK, moving on to National Grid. And here you can see that we're we've moved this week below the critical support of the rising 200 week moving average that three weeks ago the 20 and 50 crossed in a bearish formation as they were both moving down they're bearing down on national grid and further downside should be expected rsi is indicative of negative momentum it's at 38 spot 85 and the MACD as well are looking negative with the short term below the long term and they're below zero. Uh, first support on National Grid on the weekly looks like it's now around about the 890 level with support below there at 840. 
on the daily uh, you can see that yesterday's break um, was created by the downtrend in 20 day moving average that had created got bearish crosses with the 50 on the 27th of September and on the 200 back in July um, so that was a bearish influence even though the 200 did start to move back up it will now start to move down again and you can see the resistance created last week from the 20 we couldn't break up and now we've broken down and really that's going to push the stock lower RSI is at 38.39 and the MACD are below zero and again indicating some negative momentum on the four hour um, you can see that so the 20 and the 50 are about to create a bearish uh, picture as they move as they cross moving down um, the RSI is below 50 39.92 and the MACD again indicative of negative momentum. We will see on any further rally significant resistance at the 934 to 935 level. Moving across to America, KMG Chemicals, they're having a secondary offering uh, at the moment, so May price today or tomorrow. Uh, you can see that on this weekly we're moving towards higher ground there is resistance up to 60 we then have a potential double top so be aware of that that needs to uh, be broken so we do need to break above the previous high 61 to break that potential bearish picture the 20 week has started to move down uh, but that should flatline as we're well above it at the moment um, momentum is uh, reasonably okay, uh, 64.4 on the RSI and the MACD short is above long. On the daily, um, here it's um, it looks like a, a reasonable picture. Uh, we've come back, that's allowed the 20 day to catch up. There was a golden cross 2050 uh, back on the 26th of September and one would expect some further upside and for the resistance up to 61 between 60 and 61 to be tested rsi bubbling along okay with positive momentum indicated 64.87 and the macd although they're flatlining they are above zero and the four hour not much to add here finding support from the 20 at the four hour but that is a rolling so we need to gain some momentum above there rsi's flatlining but above 50 likewise the macd okay moving on to the last stock for today and that's hewlett packard enterprise you can see here on the weekly we're moving into new high ground and just about to get a golden cross on the 20 and 50 on the daily um, you can see that um, we are finding support from the 20 day moving average this consolidation should be proven to be a flag and further upside should be expected we did have a very good picture back and the moving averages in the 21st of september as they all crossed moving up um, as i said this should be a flag RSI is positive and MACD well above zero and on the four hour again you can see we're finding support from the 20 on the four hour that needs to move back up and we need to see a break of this flag but again all the moving averages were have created golden crosses back in uh, September and that uh, view is viewed positively for further upside. So thanks for watching this video. I know I rattled through the stocks, but I hope you found it of interest. In the UK, we looked at Sirius Minerals at uh, National Grid, and then in the States, KMG Chemicals and Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Thanks for watching. Please remember these videos are for information only, and they're not an investment recommendation. Please do read the disclaimer.